what is individuation like this process this journey what is it to you the first thing that comes up is i think about Ra talking about us as filters of the neutrino stream and like like these lens like anything you know whenever light comes through what goes through it is affected by what it goes through and that's this that's this form yeah. right and and as it's going through it's activating what in our design is unique uniquely present within us so and and triggers it you know so here i am this consciousness in this form and i'm being i'm being played oh that's a funny word i haven't thought about this before i'm being played you know like I, I was a music major for a couple of years and played instruments and sang and stuff, but I was going to be an opera singer. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and that and I remember when I first started with music, this, I used to play the piano before I went into music. And I wanted to learn all these wonderful pieces like the Moonlight Sonata or or Rhapsody in Blue. And and I would when there were storms outside in my house here in San Diego, I would open the doors and I would play this music and and something happened for me in allowing that to be a transmitter of that kind of beauty, yeah. that harmony, that expression of, of what fulfills and what is expansive and what is unique, my unique way of doing it. And so that attracted me a lot, the idea. That's one of the reasons why I went into singing, to think, wow, I can allow something to move through me and come out and it'll be exquisite. And I think that that's our individualism, right? When we allow the neutrinos to come through us and that we are not interfering with it. For example, when I was singing, if I got nervous, if I got felt energy low or just, you know, inadequate in some way, I, I could get tense in my throat. And then I would perhaps sharp or flat when I was singing so that the notes weren't pure. And we could see that with us in our not self, you know, that when we are using something that is not our natural instrument to, to add into our expression, then we're not the unique expression of our individualism. We are an off balance one, a, uh, yeah, an, an out of tune. tune. Yeah. yeah. And because any kind of tension in music, you know, I used to always wonder, why did I go into music? Because then I left it after two years, circumstances led that way. And and I used to look back and think, because I had really seen myself being a singer on the stages and participating in the beauty of music expression. And then it shifted. And now in this moment, I'm thinking, huh, you know, because that's what we're doing. I and mean, we could make that an equivocal, equivocal experience of how we we will listen to different singers and each one has a unique way of their tonality and their their movement and everything so what is individuation which is you know my chiron is individualism mm -hmm. and so there is my you know my flowering and and being able to really with that 38 39 conditioning field that my chiron has to be able to See, how do we stubbornly stay in the alignment of this uniqueness, this instrument, this, this presence, and then, you know, provoke the world with it, share, commune, mutate, uh, contribute, dance, <laughs> sing. So what does it mean to me? It means that. It means the ability to be pure in your expression and not... Because as soon as I say that, I think, then why aren't we? What do we do? You know, what takes us away from that? And as soon as I look outside and I see maybe you smile, and maybe you frown, and immediately my system goes, well, she frowned, uh-oh, something's wrong here. You know, I'll take, I have seven open centers. I can take it in and easily become uncertain, you know, not splenically certain, um, connected in that now to what is healthy and clean and, and connected and existentially for me. And that's what we all do. You know, we alter our instrument thinking we can improve it. And, and individuation is saying, 
what is improvement? Mm. You know, mm. I mean, how do we measure what this is and what that is? How do we measure that? And and who cares? <laughs> right? Who cares if it's weird, wonderful, different, or the same? You know, someone could also think, well, I don't want to be like them. So choose to do something that is, you know, like the, uh, what is that when it's you know, taking risks, being out, you know, pushing, altering your behavior out of an idea, ultimately. Yeah. Okay. yeah.